has left its mark. The battle scars have slowed them, but their determination is undimmed. At Omaha Beach Monday, a group of Second World War veterans came to see and to remember. Among them were three men who took part in the first wave of D-Day landings on June 6, 1944. Russell Pickett was then a 19-year-old soldier with the 116th Infantry Regiment. With a flamethrower strapped to his back, his landing craft approached Omaha Beach. Our fort had bombed our beach like they were supposed to, so we'd have some holes to get in, you know, so... We couldn't come in like sitting ducks. <laughs> I couldn't stand up because I was afraid a bullet might hit the flamethrower. Our boat blowed the best a few yards before we would touch down. I woke up with laying on the sand with her feet in the water. And I couldn't, my legs wouldn't work, so I don't know really how I got in there, but uh, some, some way or another. Over 4,000 Allied soldiers died on D-Day itself. German losses are estimated at four to 9,000. Pickett was rescued by another landing craft, just as the tide was about to pull him out to sea. He had about four more on our well one that was got his whole shoulder blowed out. He he died on the way back to to the ship. They so took me back to the ship and took me back to England. And the time I got to England, I could walk, you know, fairly well, hopping about on my right side. <coughs> and uh, so I came back for that same ship brought me back when he loaded and I was back with the outfit in about six days and stayed with them then until St. Lowe. They got me at St. Lowe and carried me back to England again 21 days that time and come back again. They put me out up, up at Brest on the, in, in September, the last part of September. It was two days before Brest gave up. <laughs> that they, they carried me out on stretchers that time so I couldn't come back. <laughs> Pickett was sent home to Tennessee in June 1945. Many of his brothers in arms never made it back. Believe it or not, I tried to blink some of the thinking out. So uh, uh, remembering all of my buddies that was killed and that's buried in the cemetery up here. So. You can imagine many friends, and so I take a dry mouth. <laughs> I can't really explain how I feel. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here, but that's. be in my last trip. <laughs> uh -huh. Around 35 American D-Day veterans have traveled to Normandy this year alongside dozens of fellow vets from Britain, Canada and several other nations. With each anniversary that passes, the number of D-Day veterans still alive sadly gets smaller. And with their passing, the world also loses the first-hand accounts of the battles that happened on these beaches and the extraordinary events of 75 years ago that would change the course of the war and of history itself. Henry Richwell for VUA News, Omaha Beach, Normandy.